What's going on everybody? In this video, we'll be talking about Funko Pops that you should buy now rather than later because they could go up in price in the near future. So without any further ado, let's hop into it. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so before we get started on the list that I put together, I got in a package from Vaulted Vinyl, guys, and there's something really cool. We're gonna be doing a bunch of giveaways and everything, but there's something that I kinda wanna announce that they're doing that I think you guys will really enjoy, and that's what's inside of this box. Okay, folks, we have some goodies in here. We have, first up, we have a hoodie. I think we need to throw this on real quick. Yeah, folks, there you go. There's the hoodie, let's throw it on. Okay, we got the hoodie on, so let me just show you the other things that are in here that is pertaining to you guys. So we've got this cool one of one bracelet you'll see something kind of gold chilling behind there that's what i'm hinting at guys that's for you we got a nice pack of protectors and you'll see another little gold thing up in that corner i wonder what that is so what i want to show off to you guys is the vaulted vinyl airdrop so basically what airdrops are is with any purchase that you make you'll be able to scan a qr code in order to win free prizes so i'm talking pop protectors a display vault air just like this one hoodies wristbands you name it there's all sorts of really cool stuff and just so you know, I will be giving a bunch of stuff away with these tags on social media and everything, in videos, on Instagram, surprise drops here and there. So definitely be following me. And what the heck, why not reveal one right now? So whoever gets this first right here, if you can take a screenshot of that, snap it, scan it, you will get some pop protectors right there. So I will hold it up so you guys can take a look at that. But anyways, be on the lookout for those airdrops, guys. There's something really cool. Like I said, you can win a bunch of prizes, giveaways, that kind of stuff. But anyways, figured I'd announce that for you so you guys can be on the lookout for that here on the channel and on my Instagram and everywhere else. All right, folks, so on to the pops that you should buy now rather than later because they could go up in price here in the future. So I've got a list right here of seven different categories categories of pops that we're gonna be talking about. We're gonna start off with one and I'm gonna be talking about the Care Bears Pops. And now these are some ones that I feel like you guys should buy right now because there is a bunch of Care Bears Pops that are releasing for the 40th anniversary of Care Bears. And they've actually started showing up at Hot Topic already and a lot of them have like chases and everything. So whether that be like Flocked, Glow in the Dark, that kind of stuff. But that first line of Care Bears Pops, guys, you're looking anywhere between like eight to $47. And usually when I suggest things, my highest that I'm gonna suggest is usually in that upper 40 range because I still feel like that's pretty affordable for a pop. But for that whole original series, guys, you can spend anywhere between eight to $47 for those pops. Pretty similar to the new wave. There's chases, there's different like variants and exclusives and stuff like that. There actually is one, I remember one exclusive that's actually pretty expensive. I think it's like $120, it's like a bedtime bear. But anyways, with those new pops that are coming out, guys, that are slowly going out to Hot Top, stores and everywhere else I would definitely suggest picking up those old ones if you're a Care Bear fan because people will want to get the other ones now that they're getting new ones in to complete sets and everything like that but uh, anyways guys yeah Care Bears is my first suggestion all right second suggestion for you guys I am going to suggest Miles Morales and I'm gonna actually suggest a couple different variations of him so I'm talking the original Miles Morales pop that's at $15 that was in a Marvel collector core box there's also the spider suit one from the first movie that's for $23 and the cape version of him which is for 37 and now I feel like these are the more reasonable priced Miles Morales pops that I feel like could go up in the near future because of the movie that is coming out next summer and it's just baffling to me that the original Miles Morales pop I know the mold isn't the most attractive mold out of all of them you know kind of the old Funko chunky looking mold or whatever but like super affordable if you're wanting a Miles Morales pop and one that you know maybe might have potential value in the future definitely give that one and the other two that I suggested from the first movie because guys I have a feeling that this next movie is going to be huge I mean that's just my prediction I know it got delayed and everything like that but people really love the first movie people really love Spider-Man and so I can't imagine that the pops for this next movie are going to be very popular so pick up those Miles Morales pops if you're wanting them if you're a fan I would definitely suggest doing that sooner rather than later because they could go up in price. All right, next up guys, this is a pop that I'm gonna suggest to you. 
All right, next up, this pop that I'm gonna suggest to you is a DC pop, and this is Dr. Fate. And I'm talking about the Funcon exclusive Dr. Fate. Now, depending on which sticker you have, you have the shared sticker for that's $20, and the one that you actually got at Funcon, which was 33. Both of them are pretty affordable, but the reason I'm suggesting this pop, guys, is because Dr. Fate was in the latest Black Adam movie, and apparently people really liked him. I haven't seen the movie yet, but apparently he was one of the favorite characters in this movie, and people really liked his appearance and how he was portrayed and everything like that. I'm not 100% sure if he's gonna be making an appearance again in future DC projects. I mean, I've seen some news articles here and there with some speculation and things like that, but people really like the character, how he was revealed in the Black Adam movie, and with there being not very many pops, I think maybe there's like two. This is the one that I just wanna to suggest to you guys that I feel like could go up the most out of any of them, depending on what happens to him. But since he's a fan favorite character, I can't imagine he won't be in a future movie. The next pops that I wanna to suggest to you guys are the Haunted Mansion pops. And we're looking anywhere for those base set ones, anywhere between like 15 to $34 is what they're going for right now. And the reason I wanna suggest these ones to you guys is because there is a brand new movie coming out next year in 2023 that is gonna be basically like a live action Haunted Mansion movie. And I know there was one with Eddie Murphy a while back and that one's kind of a fun movie, but it's kind of cool that, that we're, we're getting kind of the reboot, maybe a different feel to the movie, but I can't can't imagine that there's not gonna be pops attached to this movie, so that's why I wanna suggest to you guys to pick up the ones that already exist that are surrounding the ride at Disneyland. All right, here are my last three suggestions. The next one, guys, I wanna talk to you about a pop that I feel like is pretty undervalued is Bryce Harper in his Phillies uniform. And right now the World Series is going on. I believe the series is tied 1-1. So Phillies have won a game, the Astros have won a game, but Bryce Harper has been playing super well, guys. And his pop is very underpriced in my opinion. It's only going for $12. And just the way that he's been playing and now he has a legit shot to finally win a World Series, I can't imagine that his pop is gonna stay at $12 for much longer. One good example of a baseball pop that's gone up recently, Aaron Judge, he was chasing the American League title for the most home runs in a regular season in the American League, and he achieved it, and his pop has skyrocketed. So, I don't know, maybe Bryce Harper's will do the same with how he's playing in the playoffs and everything, but if it, you know, if he actually wins the World Series, I definitely think it will go up even more, and that's kind of a common theme that I find among baseball pops, depending on if there's something going on with that player and that kind of stuff then that's a good sign that the value of different things, maybe even pops, sports cards could go up. All right, last two suggestions. Suggestion number one, I'm gonna suggest to you guys the McDonald's Pops. Now these can go anywhere between eight to $16. The baseline ones that I'm talking about with the original characters like the Grimace, Hamburglar, Ronald McDonald. I'm trying to remember if there's a couple other ones, but I'll have the picture up here that you guys can reference and everything. There are new pops coming out in this line. There is like Mr. Speedy, I believe, which the, was the original. McDonald's mascot and then a couple other things there's like some fries a burger and I think there's also like a drink as well but anyways these might be going up in price with those new ones coming out I don't know, this one's maybe a little bit 50-50 on my part to suggest this because I feel like when those McDonald's Pops came out a couple years ago, that they produced the heck out of these guys. There is probably a ton of them out there, but I mean, who knows? I don't feel like I can go into a store anymore and really pick these up for retail, unless you go to maybe like a specialty shop that would have a bunch of them. But like I'm saying, you can't go into like Hot Topic or Box Lunch that I remember at least and buy these McDonald's Pops. Anyways, maybe just to be a safe bet if you don't have them now and you want them with the new ones coming out definitely pick them up for sure. All right, and this is my last suggestion for you guys, another Spider-Man related pop. One that I wanna to suggest to you guys to pick up is the Spider-Man 2099, the original one that was exclusive to Walgreens. And now obviously the reason I want you guys to pick this up, or at least that I'm suggesting it to you guys, is that he is going to be making an appearance in the new upcoming Across the Spider-Verse movie. And I might have suggested this one on the channel already, but anyways, this one is pretty affordable guys, at only $30. I think it's it's a pretty reasonably priced pop. And it's one of those kind of original ones that you don't see very often, that kind of thing. And I don't know, I feel like out of all of them, this one probably is gonna be the one that's the most sought after because A, it was an exclusive, and B, well, you can't really find it in stores anymore. So it's definitely a harder one to find. 
And folks, those are my suggestions of Funko Pops that you should buy now rather than later. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys would suggest of some things that you feel like are gonna be going up in price soon. Also, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one here. Like I said, be on the lookout for all the different vaulted vinyl stuff that I'll be doing here on the channel and on Instagram. I'll be giving all sorts of really cool stuff away with those airdrops. So be on the lookout for that, but thank you guys so much for watching again. You guys are awesome and the best like always. Remember to do kind of one another and always promote positivity. I will see you in the next video. Catch you guys later. <gasps>